Hello guys, this is the engine of my Mercedes 190 M102 engine with a carburetor. Uh, last uh, week it was not running as good as it did before, so uh, I thought maybe there was some seal leakage in the carburetor, so I changed that, but still not as good as it did before. So I also saw some smoking uh, at the back and I was starting using oil. I had it for 2000 kilometers now and uh, the same problem I had my uh, father-in-law with this car, that's a 6-cylinder in S-Class, M103 engine, they are pretty the same as this one, this is M102. And I changed on his car the stem seals, of the valve stem seals. So I'm going to do the same on this one, but of course I think the same problem is on this car. I think you see there are uh, 8 seals in it, 4 intake and 4 exhaust, so I'm going to show you uh, how to do it the best way. I removed the air filter and the valve cover. Now you can see all the four uh, rocker arms and uh, the rocker arms are also included with the bearing support for the camshaft. So I just removed them one by one. But at first uh, the oil pipe has to be removed. The oil pipe is uh, supported by two bolts here and uh, over there. So that one has to be removed and then I can start on the first one to remove it. As you can see, I have removed the first uh, rocker arm uh, bearing, the bearing support. Um, make sure when you remove it, there are some compensation elements on top here. Very small things. When you uh, get them off, that they don't fall into the engine. Last time I had almost one dropped into the engine, so uh, make sure you have some sort of magnet to uh, catch them. Now you can uh, reach the the valves. Uh, the valve springs. As first, I also have made a special tool. It's just uh, a spark plug in half, well with a pipe in between, so I can uh, pressurize the cylinder bushing, so the valves are not falling down. Um, otherwise, you have to remove the head. So I'm not going to do that. So I put about uh, eight bars in the cylinder bushing, so the valves will not fall down when I remove the springs. I ordered on eBay also an, uh, a valve. Uh, spring compressor. It was about uh, 30 euros and it works uh, very good. Here you can see the rocker, the rocker arm and the rocker arm bearing support. Here are the small pieces I'm talking about, compensation elements. Really uh, small things. So don't let them drop into the engine, you've got a real big problem. As you can see I have removed the spring and the retainer. It's now in my uh, tool. Also, uh, you press it down, and then you've got the valve cutters, the small ones. I use a magnet for them to catch them on top. And then you can pull it off, and I uh, already removed uh, the old seal and placed a new seal in. I'll show you uh, there are two types of seals. You got this one. This is you got a, yeah, I don't know how to call it, but this is for the intake. Of our, this is for the exhaust. Sorry. And this one. This one is for the intake. You can see there's a, another, another edge on it. You can see they're both different. So the right one is for the intake, and the left one is for the exhaust. Now you can build everything back uh, like you cut it off. Just the uh, valve and retainer back on and the uh, valve cutters back in. And then the rocker, uh, rocker and the camshaft bearing back in place. Four bolts, just bolt it down on 20 newton meters. And then uh, build everything back. I hope it will work on mine.